Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Daughter of Increase. My name is Nazanice. Nice. For those of you who are new to the channel, or who just happen to stumble across this video, and I post new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, all about my faith, God, Christ, and expanding the kingdom of God. So, as the title says above, this is a reading vlog. Of course, we love reading vlogs, and today is November 11th as I'm recording this. The book I'm getting ready to share with you guys, I was technically supposed to start yesterday on Sunday, November 10th, but I ended up going to three services Sunday, so that just didn't happen. And when I got home, I was going to read, but I ended up eating and going to bed. So I'm catching up today, but the book is... A Royal Father by Linda Ferguson. This is the third and final book in the Lion and the Butterfly trilogy and I'm so sad and excited at the same time because I'm not ready for this world to be over. I'm not ready for the characters to be done with. I'm just, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. My sister Steph knows. I am buddy reading this book with her. Of course, Stephanie over at Quilting Beauty but Beauty and Books. I believe that's how you said the channel. Sorry if I'm saying it wrong. But you click the on the screen to go check out her channel. But we read the first two books together and we're reading the final book together and I'm just like... We're not ready. She already started yesterday, so I'm a little bit behind, but I'm definitely going to catch up today. Um, it's supposed to be 78 seventy-eight pages per day to, I believe, that'll be a four-day reading kind of thing. But I'm going to try to tackle mine in three days. It's going to be 100 pages a day for me. Um, so I'm going to be reading chapters 1 through 14 today. <sighs> yes. So we have this. I will also be reading three other books today as well, so I'm going to try to see how I can work that out. But if you guys don't know, I do have another channel. Um, it's called Nays Pink Bookshelf. I have several thousand channels on YouTube, but um, the one that I've been going to a lot more recently is Nays Pink Bookshelf, where I do all of my other book-related videos, where I talk about fantasy books and romance and stuff like that. So I'm currently partaking in a readathon called Tome Topple, and you can click the on the screen to go watch that video that I did. But basically, a tome is a book that is over 500 pages long, and this is a two-week readathon. I have about two books on my TBR with four additional possibilities, so I will be tackling this book here which is called The Way of Shadows by Brent Weeks. This is adult fantasy, epic fantasy about assassins and, um, and magic, excuse me, assassins and magic. Um, I was supposed to read basically from here to this green marker yesterday but because it was Sunday, went to three services, didn't get a chance, so I'm a day behind on this. But I broke this book up into a four day reading plan. Um, this book is a total of 677 pages. I definitely could tackle it in three, but because I have so many books to review this month, I did it in four. I'm a day behind, so I have to catch up on this. So we're playing catch up with these two books. I'm a day behind on this and a day behind on this. But this book is so freaking good so far. It's adult fantasy, and that's all I'm going to say. It's just great. Um, I also have this book here, um, which I believe I'm like two days behind on this. This was broken down, I believe, into also a four-day reading plan for me in which I read a couple of chapters a day. Um, this is called The How and the Why by Cynthia Hand. It's a young adult contemporary. What I can tell you guys from what I remember is that it takes place in like a two-fold two timeline. The past where you have a mother writing letters to her unborn child as she's going to give her child up for adoption. The young girl is 16 years old at this time and then you have the present which you have the daughter who was now 18 really curious about her birth mother so she's reading these letters from the past so you get to see the past with her mother the future i have a dilemma with this because i do know how this book ends now um i kind of spoiled it for myself by accident so i know how this ends and i'm not sure if i'm going to continue reading it because i know how it ends from what i have read so far i've enjoyed i've read about a quarter of this book it's really good so far so i think i'm gonna read a few bit a few more chapters and see how i feel um so far i was going with a 3.75 rating it might get a, f a four stars i'm not huge on contemporary that's just, I'm not a huge, I like contemporary romance that's more adult. I don't really care for the YA contemporary, just because I'm grown. Um, when I say grown, I mean I'm 28 years old, so it's kind of awkward sometimes to read a YA contemporary. But um, so far, it's really good. It really talks about adoption and um, just finding out who you are and self-love and all that. So, so far, enjoying it. So the goal is to finish that book because um, I have to have my review set for this week, actually. Is it this week or next week? I think it's this week I need to have that review up, so I'm going to try to finish that today. And then lastly, I need to catch up on this. Um, yeah, so I'm listening to the audiobook, which is probably why I'm taking my sweet time with this. I need to read all the way up to, here, to this bookmark here, so I have from here to there to read. I've been slacking on this. Um, I know a lot of you guys have been raving about this and have been wanting to do the live videos 
but I've just been slacking majorly with this. So I need to pick this back up. I am taking my time. I'm tabbing up as you can see. I'm loving this. It's just amazing. We love Michael Hosea. We love him so much. We are loving Angel. Um, but I really need to like catch up on this ASAP so that I can start doing things in the book club again like I'm supposed to. So that is the goal for today. Read three, finish one. Um, but we'll see. But yes, we're gonna dive into this. I'm probably gonna be like five chapters and come back with my thoughts and then read the next five chapters and come back with my thoughts. So let's do that. Okay guys, so I'm back in my room. I read five chapters and like holy heck mind blown is not even the word to use. Um Linda has like thrown some doozies. She has done major time skips which I am not too fond of the time skip um at all. That was taking place because her her mom died it's just like when did this happen her mom was just alive at the end of the other book so i don't know how many i think about 10 years have passed <laughs> or so with this book which is like killing me but um i mean she doesn't even wait like literally in the first chapter she brings back effa which effa is the guy in the first book that did something to her that basically destroyed her youth and um i'm just mind blown now one thing i i'm loving is that antonius is very much heavy in this and we love antonius i love him so much and i love him even more because timon and her father and her grandfather actually approve of him but um it's been 10 years and antonius loves her he actually wanted to m marry her but her father denied it because she's so against it so her biggest thing from what I can see is that she doesn't want to marry him because he's a Roman soldier. But I'm just like, your father was a Roman soldier and your grandfather was a Roman soldier. So I'm not understanding. So she better marry him by the end of this book because I'm like, ugh, 10 years? He's been after her for 10 years. And he treats her children so well. Samuel is grown. Um, Joshua is grown. And oh, what is the other one's name? I can't remember the other son. Stephen. So they're like all grown up. Joshua is the youngest right now. Um, but Stephen and Samuel are both, you know, grown men and stuff like that. And it's just, it's amazing to see the family dynamics as well as the danger that's getting ready to take place. Again, Kai Aphis is doing some stupid stuff. Like, his name is not mentioned, but he's mentioned of in the book. So it's like, I'm getting irritated. Um, Effa has converted to, to a follower of Jesus. So that's kind of like mind blowing. Um, so yeah, right now, chapter five, it ends with the scepter being gone. And, um... She ended up saving a young girl, that's why I forgot to mention it. The first chapter when she came across Effa, um, she went to save a young girl named Sarah. And I think it's so cute because baby girl Sarah, you know, Sarah died. And now you have a new girl named Sarah and she's 10 years old and it's just like, ugh, beautiful. But yeah, it's, it's about to go down. It's, it's about to go down. But I did get a package from Amazon and I purchased some new um, tabs. So let me open this real quick okay. so I ordered a bunch of new sticky tabs because the ones I was using um, were running low so this is normally the pack that I buy this is it doesn't have the name on it but it normally comes like this in a pouch and you get several different ones so um, you get the thin ones these are wrong. They switch the colors on these. I don't approve of that. Yeah, they definitely switch colors on these, which kind of sucks because they should look like this. So they're supposed to look like this with like an indigo, but for some reason this one comes with a magenta, so I'm not sure. But they give you several of the thin ones. You get two of these. You literally like get a bunch. I'm trying to go through okay hold on they definitely change the colors up i don't approve of that like i'm so i'm really upset about that that they changed the colors because I, I wasn't expecting that that really bothers me guys i'm trying to get them all together i probably should have did this first in the video but whatever so you get one pack of the large ones right here then you have another large pack like this you get four of the rectangle ones. And again, this should be indigo, but it's not indigo, it's magenta. So they give you magenta and purple, which I don't know why they did that. But they give you four of those rectangle ones. Then you get four of the um, arrow ones. 
I'm really bothered by that. I'm going to check on Amazon and see what happened because that's not how they should look. Um, you get two of these. You get two, four, six, eight of these ones. And then they give you this one with polka dots on it and then this one with these stripes. So this all was about 10 bucks, and you're getting a lot. Um, I'm really going to check my Amazon right now because I'm a little bothered <laughs> by that because they're not supposed to be like that. They're supposed to look like this. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're definitely supposed to. They definitely switched them. Um, I paid $10 for this pack. It's 300 3,160 pieces, so 22 different sets. Um, but you guys can see, $9.99. So, that's weird. And the arrows are supposed to be indigo, but they're not, but whatever. So, normally they come with the indigo instead of magenta, but these will work fine too. So, that was $10. Um, the other one I got is this one, which I saw a lot of people talking about. This one, okay, so these come with the seven colors. Normally should come with indigo, but they come with magenta now. Whatever. Um, then I got these ones, which are the You Wanted. Yo, Yo Wanted six set. Um, they're ten different colors. They have this one packaged really well. And I don't have my scissors, so let me grab my scissors real quick. Okay, I got my scissors. So, again, these are the Yo Wanted six set bookmarkers. Um, this one I got for 12 bucks. You get six sets, so I pay about two dollars for each. But each one has ten different colors. You get three arrows and then three rectangular ones. I prefer arrows, but I don't mind the rectangular ones. I'm trying to take all this tape off. Each pack comes with an arrow and it comes with the rectangle. So these are the colors. You get a pink, orange, yellow, green, blue. Um, this would be purple, magenta, red, light blue, and a teal, I guess. So you have that one, and then you have these ones. I got these specifically for when I'm reading fantasy novels because I find that when I read fantasy novels, I want I need more than um seven colors. You know, my typical color set is going to be seven, which works for all the other ones. Um as these come with the seven colors, but for fantasy novels, I found that I need more than that, so that is great. So again, for these two, I paid $12 for six um tabs, two in each pack. So you have that and then the last one I got, again, these links will be down below for you guys if you're interested in tabs. I got another 10 color set. Um, this one is going to be $9. So this is the one that I got. I'm not sure. I've never purchased these ones before. So these ones are not new to me. The only thing is that they change the colors. They do have another one that's actually like 12 bucks that I normally buy, but I bought this one, which is cheaper um, this time around. These are new, but I've seen people on YouTube use these in the BookTube community. These I've never seen people talk about, but I've seen reviews of online, so I figured I would give it a go, you know, and I needed some cheap tabs. <laughs> so let's open these up. Okay. First thing is you get four packs of the arrows, which are like the regular five, five colors. Yeah, five colors. So there is no indigo and there is no purple on this set which is fine. Um, I think these would be great if I'm reading like poetry novels or whatever the case. Then you get two of the uh, the page flags kind of sets. So you get a dark purple, red, a blue, yeah, green, yellow, pink, orange, light blue, coral, and a light purple. So you have those. Um, and then you get the rectangles and then two of the arrows so I'm just gonna try these out and see um, but my go-to is definitely this set right here I use these a lot more um, I will probably purchase more of these because again I read use these in my fantasy novels because I do mark differently for every different book that I read um, so yeah sorry if you guys hear my son it's Veterans Day all the kids are out of school so yeah so yeah we got some more sticky tabs that I need to use for reading I'm just going to put them in here for now but so far I'm I'm gutted um, I've been texting my sis like listen I'm about to read the last few pages to see if she marries Antonia because it's pissing me off it's making me mad like <laughs> why won't she just be with Antonius Antonius could literally help her out um, but yeah it ends with the scepter being gone 
Because at the end of chapter 5, page 40, the scepter is now gone. It's missing. And not too long ago, Effa had came to her house and told her and her father and Antonius that, you know, his father was plotting to kill her father as well as steal the scepter and basically punish her for saving all the orphans and stuff like that. So, I'm going to continue reading. Um, I don't have my page flags in here as of yet. I do have my little pouch here with my page flags that I'll be using. And things like that. So, actually I should take my page flags out right now. So these are the ones I'm using right now because I'm trying to get rid of those colors. Um, so I'm probably going to add my page flags in here first. But so far I'm just, I'm gutted to the core. Um, Linz's writing is beautiful. I will say the first chapter really is hard hitting. Um, it definitely does grip you from the heart. Um, just with how it's written and how she speaks well of the little girl. It's just, ugh. It's intense, but I'm excited to continue on and see what happens next in the story. Hey guys, so I'm just coming back real quick. I didn't even start reading and I made my son something quickly to eat. Um, but I was just looking at my tabs again and realized that this box set was wrong. Completely wrong, because they're supposed to give me 10 different colors. So these are the colors that I should have for all the tabs according to Amazon, right? 10 different colors. I just realized that the square ones and the arrow ones are five different colors twice. So, I I, I sent an some um, I did like a return thing on Amazon. So, I have to December 11th to return these. They're sending me a new set. And if that set is not right either, I'm going to be mad because I paid for 10 different colors. Which is this set here. And this is the only set that came like that. These only have five different colors twice on each one which it will be fine if that's what i wanted um because i do use seven different colors so i would be fine for me however i bought these specifically for when i'm reading my fantasy novels because i have 10 different color codes um which is this right here my color key for my fantasy um you guys know i have different color coding keys so i have one for biblical fiction which uses eight colors two four six nine colors actually my biblical fiction uses nine colors but i really only need eight tabs or seven tabs um then i have my regular reading key here i just made this fantasy one for when i'm reading fantasy novels because there are some things that i want to look up that's different from other books um and then i have my regular annotating key and then my regular like biblical fiction biblical nonfiction annotating key so like i need specific colors for certain things and i just yeah so if i wasn't buying it for a specific reason this would be fine like i wouldn't have a problem with that but i bought it specifically for this and i saw a girl she posted up a picture and i'll post it here so you guys can see what that looks like where all of her tabs are different they're like this set here so yeah i have to december 11th the new pack is supposed to be coming next week so we'll see um if it's not the same that one's getting sent back as well and i'll do it a third time third time's a charm um and if that's wrong i'm just gonna let them know i'm just gonna keep them and they better not charge me because y'all sent me the wrong set so that's what's going on with that. But I'm going to sit down and get some reading done. I just ate a little bit of white rice and some broccoli. My son is nibbling on food right now. So the goal, like I said, is to get to page 200. I'm going to try to sit down and read without interruption. I'm going to put on my reading ambiance list, um, playlist right now. And just read. That's what I'm going to do. I have me a little bit of sun-kissed pineapple here. So, hopefully we can get this going. Next time I come back, I should have my thoughts on the first 14 chapters for you.
we gotta talk real quick, y'all. So, just chapter eight alone was just like, holy crap. I, I honestly can't even remember what happened in the last few chapters because who cares? But, um, chapter seven, Antonius showed up at the house. Oh, yeah, chapters six through seven was, um, Sarah's dad came back, they hit Sarah, and all that stuff. Antonius comes back at the end of chapter seven, introduces his little girl. So, she's about 20 years old. So, Sarah begins to feel bad because she be begins to feel her feelings about Antonius and how she loves him. And she feels like he's getting ready to leave and get married to this girl. But, come to find out, homie got a whole daughter and a whole wife. A whole daughter and a whole wife. But the thing is, he thought that they were killed. So he's going back to his homeland to see if his wife is alive. His daughter is very rude. Her name is Bridget. She got a real bad mouth on her. Makes me want to punch in her mouth. Just saying. But um, what I love is that throughout this entire chapter of chapter 8, you know, no matter what is being said about him, um, he's like, no, nah, I love you. Like, you're mine. I love you. Um, I need to go see. But, you know, he... He's reaffirming his love for her, which I think is beautifully done. Like, the way he is acting in this, despite the news. Like, he's in tears. First of all, he didn't want to tell her he's in tears. She said he looks tormented and confused. Um, and he begins to talk about his wife and stuff like that. And it's just like... And then, like, it's just so cute. It's like, it's cute, but it's like, damn. Like, you got a whole wife, bro. You ain't even tell her you was previously married. You didn't even tell her you had a, a child. That's number one. I feel like even if they were dead, you still should have told her. I mean, I knew each other for 10 years. She's been in love with you now for 10 years. Come on. You could have told her that you at least was married and you believed that your wife was dead. But you chose to hide that. And now she's hurt. He's hurt. They're confused. But even in that confusion and hurt, he's like, I love you. I'm going to go home to see about my wife. Make sure if she's really alive. And I guess he's going to handle his affairs there. Um, however that may be, but he's like, no, I love you. And come to find out, homeboy is a prince. Jerusha, can we talk for a minute? Like, girl, girl, Roman soldier or not, prince or not, this man has been after you for 10 years. He's been loving you and your children. Timon, your ex, your ex-husband, your deceased husband approves of him. Your father approves of him. And your grandfather approves of him. Everybody loves him. But your whole gripe is that he's a Roman soldier. Your dad and your grandfather were both Roman soldiers. What is the issue? Like, you could have been set for life, shorty. I'm just saying. You know, and it's not about, like, her being set for life. But it's just, like, she could have been well taken care of and had a man that loved her. And was approved by her deceased husband and her family. Like, girl. But his daughter is, like, she real rude of her mouth. She need to get punched. Like, I really wanted to pop on her mouth when I read this part. Because she's like, well, father... Must we call you Antonius? You are king now. You need to take your rightful place. Our people need you. It does not matter that you love this woman. Shorty, daughter or not, you've been missing for how long? Ten plus years? Your daddy thought you and your mama was dead. Don't, don't do that. Don't, don't do that. And you know, the thing about it is, it's such a realistic thing. Like, when you're married and say you, like, get into a crash or something like that and you believe that your, your spouse is dead, but they're not really dead. They're just out there in the world or something like that. You don't know what to do. It's like when you watch those movies, like those Hallmark movies, when like a husband is on a plane and the plane crashes and the wife never hears from him again and they never find the body. And then like 20 plus years later, he returns home and she's married to someone else kind of story. But more on a biblical sense. I just, I can't believe it. But what got me is that, you know, his Gaelic name is Rory. But he's like, that is not my name. Um, and it doesn't matter if I'm a king now. He's like, my name is Antonius, servant of Yeshua. He is my God and my king. His kingdom is unshakable. I pledge my love to him. And I pledge my love to those in his kingdom. What? And mind you, the whole time he's saying that when his daughter is talking, he's staring at Jerusha. <gasps> oh my God. Is he, if he's not goals, like Timon was goals, but now I'm like, Antonius is goals too. Um, and he's like staring at her and she's now beginning to realize all this time she loved him and she knew she loved him She just wouldn't allow herself to love him because she was so hung up on her first husband Which is you know relatable a lot, but well, not relatable in the sense that I can relate because I ain't never been married But relatable in the sense that a lot of women who have been married tend to hold on to their first marriage and never want to remarry Even though it's okay with their deceased husbands and things like that So um, hold on my son is coming Sorry, my son had came in the room and he had the, the nook with him. But, um, 
it's just so emotional because of these last few paragraphs is her him holding her whispering in her ear calling him hers and saying that he'll be back for her and it's just like but what can you possibly do when you get home you have a wife and you're a prince like what can you do i'm interested to see how that turns out um and he's just like I want to cry like i want to cry but i'm so happy it's like i'm like yeah she finally admits it but now he has to go home to his wife who's supposed to be dead it got to me and then he's like yeah well the thing that effa said was true and i'm just i i can't do i can't tell you guys like my feelings are hurt my feelings are hurt that was only like two chapters, six, seven, eight. That was three chapters that I read. And I'm already like mm, 59. I'm 58 pages in. And I'm sitting here texting stuff because I'm like, I'm just like, bruh, like, she is not holding. Lin listen, L Linda, Linda, L Linda, you ain't holding no punches. You throwing them real fast. Like, can I catch up to you? Like, she's giving it to you back to back to back. And I'm just like, oh my god what is next like what's gonna happen next so i'm gonna continue reading i'm gonna read the rest of chapters 9 to 14 and then come back with my thoughts because like um i'm somewhat stuck on stupid right now so i have about 40 pages left to go okay so i'm 100 pages in. i read 100 pages and no words literally um the romance i will say i am loving the romance in this as much as i still have a soft heart for timon as jerusha's husband um I, antonius please yes um and it's not it does not have to do with him being a prince or anything like that it more so has to do with how much he truly loves her and when you find out the information concerning his wife you really truly begin to understand that he is really in love with um Jerusha and it's it's beautiful to see it come together but fall apart at the same time it's just like why and then something just happened with her dad that got me mad and then Effa is really starting to like frustrate me it's not that he's doing anything wrong because he's pretty much trying to help but it's one of those things when you're trying to help but you help last minute and it's too late type of help and it's like, I really can't be mad at him because every time he tries to help, Jerusha pushes him away. So it's just like, gut me. I am using my cell phone to record this portion, which is why the quality is a little bit eh. So I apologize. I'm charging my other camera again. And then I also have to transport that, in, that footage onto my laptop. So i'm gutted i'm gutted i'm gutted i'm gutted i don't know how to feel i just slapped myself in the face but this ugh. now i have a lot more markings than you see tabs um but i'm learning that everything that i underline does not need to be tabbed because i pretty much tab everything i underline i don't have to do that um there are some pages where i have things that i underlined if I can, i'm trying to find a page where i've like underlined but i didn't tab but that seems to not be possible at this point in time yeah like on this page i've underlined something in orange but i didn't put an orange tab because i just felt like it was no need so everything i mark does not need to have a tab only the crucial essential parts to the story needs a tab and lots of pink tabs lots of pink a little bit of blue but pretty much a lot of pink and i'm not bringing my tab so far out so this is probably <sighs> It's a tie between this and the first book as, like, my number one favorite from the trilogy. Book two would definitely be, like, my third favorite in the trilogy. But I think I would have to say book one, then book three, and then book two. Book two is just as good, five stars. But um, book one really guts you and hits you in the heart with how it starts off with Jerusha at her, at her age. And book two, you know, it's okay. It's a lot of sadness. Lots of death, I will say, goes on in book two. But book three is just, like she ain't she's not slowing down it's like go cool. surprise here surprise here surprise here and boom 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 so yeah so 100 pages in i'm definitely going to keep reading up until the two, page 200 and then leave the last bit for tomorrow but ugh. i 
I have no words. Um, I literally have been texting Steph nonstop because I'm just like, wait, like I'll text her about something and then I'll read a paragraph and then something else will happen. And then I'll text her about that and then read another page and something else will happen. And it's just like, ugh. this trilogy, I will say, is very real. Um, it's very realistic. It's very relatable. And I definitely, this is probably going to be one of my favorite series of the year. Um, when I do my 2019 favorites, this will definitely be in my 2019 favorites, hands down. Um, now, whether I put book one or book three as, like, my favorite book of the year, um, I don't know. But I recommend this trilogy to everyone. Um, obviously, by the time I finish, by the time you see this video, I would have finished already, the series already. But I highly recommend it. It's beautifully written. It is just gut-wrenching. It really grips at your heart. I will have personal reviews for each of these books because they are phenomenally written and um I highly recommend them just like so good so good so good um Jerusha is very relatable in that she's very stubborn like she wants what she wants how she wants it when she wants it and she doesn't know how to let go and this book is really about her learning to let go of control you cannot control everything you cannot um, handle everything whether it be it for yourself for your family for your children you can't do it all God alone can you know God alone is the only one that can really take control of that and it's just about letting him have that control and releasing it and um it's hard to read because it's just like I've grown fond of these characters in the situation with Jacob I <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. it it was it was it was not mm -mm. And right now we're still teetering on whether he will survive or not. And it's just like, mm. but Antonius, yes, we, we like Antonius. We, we love Antonius. He is such an amazing guy. And um, I love his love, not only for Jerusha, but also for God and how fervent he is in expressing that. Even his prayers make me cry. Like his prayers make me cry. That is a man of God. Like, oof. That's the man of God right there. But I'm going to continue reading. Read to page 158 with my sis. Um, I ain't got no words. Linda has torn my heart out multiple times. She she brought daddy back. Like, okay, so there was a situation with Jacob. He got stabbed. Died. Came back to life just to die again. Like, what? Bro, what? That made me mad. Um, Effa is annoying me because it's like he pops up every time something bad is getting ready. Like, anytime something bad is getting ready to happen or after something bad happens, he pops up. And it's just too much how close that is. Um, but you, we do find out that he really is a convert, that he really does believe in Yah um, Yahweh. And, um, he's actually a follower of Paul. That's how he heard about Yahweh. So, that's pretty interesting. Mm, Paul is arrested, of course. Um... Miriam and Moses are again pregnant, but Miriam might lose a baby. But Jerusha is teaching her to declare a thing and um, speak over her child's life before the baby is born. Jerusha is finally coming to the realization that everything is in God's hand. So it's pretty good. I'm loving it. Excuse me. But so good. Oh my God. I've spent three months with this series and I only have this much left to go before it's over. So I'm going to finish reading this today. That's it. We're going to stop at page 158. I'll read some more tomorrow. Um, so, so far, five star rating. Like, 158 pages in, five star rating. Morning, guys. So it is currently 926 in the morning. I'm trying to show you guys without showing all my info. But, uh-oh. 9:26 a.m. November 12th is Tuesday and I'm finally gonna dive back into this my sis read up to chapter 32 so that's what I'm gonna do so I basically have to read this much and then we'll have this much left and I'm oh I'm dying I'm dying I'm dying I'm dying I'm dying because so much stuff has occurred and I'm just like Ugh. So the goal for the next hour and a half. So if you guys hear the beeping, I didn't reset the smoke detector. So yeah, but um, I'm going to make my bagel, have some coffee and get the reading that I need to get done within the next hour and a half. And um, I'll probably come in between as I'm reading to tell you guys my thoughts. But I'm basically reading 10 chapters today. So I might read like five chapters, come back, talk to you guys. And then, yeah, we'll see. So let's dive into reading.
I can't deal with Linda. Linda just, she knows how to gut you. Um, this is the third and final book, and it's like she's holding nothing back. Everybody's dying. Everybody's being redeemed. Everybody is just going through something. Jerusha is still going through. I'm just... <sighs> as much as I still dislike Effa, what happened to him by the hands of his father was wrong. Um... I didn't care for that and Effa really shows um, a person who can really change their mind and their heart and really become a believer and how God is a loving God um, and how he forgives and things like that it's it's, it's insane um, there are witches in this book um, that do like spells and stuff it's so crazy all the stuff that's happening um, I have lots of pink tabs because we ship we ship this this couple like do you see the yellow listen we have pink and blue, pink and blue, pink and blue, because I am just, I'm loving. Linda's giving a whole lot of the Psalms, which I'm loving. She's definitely running through the Psalms, which is great. Um, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm ecstatic for the last few pages tomorrow. Um, this is all that's left for tomorrow. How, how many chapters is it? About 40 chapters. Yeah, it's 39 with an epilogue. The epilogue I call a, um, a chapter. So, 33 to 40 tomorrow, which is, like, insane that this is literally almost over. I am just, like, this series, this trilogy, literally is in my top for the year. Um, by far, it teaches so much about yourself and your growth and your walk and trusting God and letting go and letting him be number one. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. Um, I have been texting and stuff all day. We have been talking nonstop. If you guys can see, like, nonstop. We have been talking about this book. Yeah, this is all from today, mind you. All of this is from today. Let me scroll down. From what time did we start texting? From here? Here, we've been texting nonstop because, like, there's so much to be said about this book. It is so good. And it's just, Linda, I need another book from you. You, Your writing is beautiful. I love it to pieces. Me and my sis staff are really enjoying this. I highly, highly, highly recommend this trilogy to anyone interested in a biblical fiction that will really gut you at the core and really personally convict you and help you understand things better um as far as like forgiveness and love and letting go of control and things like that it's so good so um i'm done for the day with this book i'm just i want to finish it but i i can't deal with it anymore because Right now, Jerusha was locked up. Um, basically, her and her sons went to go see um, Paul, but they tried to say that they tried to kill Paul, and Paul is a Roman citizen and all this blah, blah, blah stuff, so they arrested her and her sons. She's able to get out, but her sons have to stay, and Caiaph is still on his rampage about hating her father and the family. So her sons are, like, at any point going to be crucified. Um, and then Effa proposed to her to save her, but then Effa's dad did some real petty stuff that got me real mad, so I'm over it. But, um, my heart, it can't take it. Um, let's just, let me just say, Antonius is, <laughs> I love Antonius. Antonius is phenomenal. I just, I love his love for Jerusha. I love his love for her children. Even though these are not her sons, they're all her adopted sons. Anybody that comes within her household, he helps to take care of and love on them. And the things that he's been teaching her children um, not just about being a Roman soldier and fighting and all that, but even the word, like, he's really been instilling the word of God into these kids for 10 years. He's been in love with this woman for 10 years, like, so crazy. Um, what I'm hoping will happen come tomorrow is that Bridget, his daughter, will come live with him, and they'll all be happy, and not even that, I hope Jerusha leaves Jerusalem and goes to wherever he's from, and they become king and queen, and they live a happy life, Okay. That's what I'm hoping for, okay? With grandfather too. Grandfather needs to come back as well, okay? That, that's what I'm hoping for. But I'm done for today. Hey guys, so it is currently 9.35 in the morning. 9.36 now. Wednesday, November 13th. And it is the final, final day of my read for this beauty. And I'm like not ready. Um, this is all I have left. So, um, I'm actually trying to send out this newsletter for my church by 10 o'clock. I normally am supposed to do it by 9, but I pushed it back to moving it until 10 o'clock. So, I don't know what's going on my computer. 
the website that I use to make my like banners and stuff like that is really bugging out right now which is not making me too happy I don't know, it's not downloading and it's making me really frustrated because it's bugging out. And this is literally the only thing I have to do before I can send it off. But while that's doing what it needs to do, I'm going to tackle these last few pages. And I already had my breakfast. I ate a bagel while I was working. And let me show you guys the cream cheese I've been using. This is the cream cheese I've been using. It's a Walmart brand. It's cookie butter. Oh my gosh. I am done. Like, you guys... <laughs> I literally just have like scraping bit left so I do have one more piece of half one more half of my bagel um, that I'm gonna heat up and just mix this with some regular cream cheese but this stuff you guys my son's father got me onto cookie butter um, the actual like cookie butter that comes in the jar which is so good so when I saw that they had this as like a cream cheese it is really good it tastes like cream cheese but it has that sweetness that the, of the cookie butter it is delicious I got my mom onto it it's really good but, um, I need to go back and buy, like, two more of these. When I went, they didn't have any more in stock. Like, I think this was the only one they had in stock. Um, and I guess this is, like, just a Christmas kind of winter holiday thing. So, hopefully when we go back to Walmart next month, I'll be able to find this because I need this in my life. It is so good. And it is definitely a Walmart brand. It says Great Value. Great Value is a Walmart brand. So, yeah. Once again, this is not working. I don't know what's going on. It works on my phone, but it's not working on um, the computer, which is frustrating me. Because it pops up on my phone. So I think I'm going to have to download it from my phone, email it to myself, which is mad work. But yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to download it from my phone because it's not working on the computer. And I'm just, I'm not going to deal with this. So we're just going to open up Goodreads um, right now. I'm going to open up Goodreads. I'm going to read the last few pages. Um, my sis has not texted me yet, so I'm not sure if she's reading it. But once I'm done, I'm definitely going to text her. And then after I'm done reading this, I'm just going to read my fantasy novel, the one I've been showing you guys, the small book. Um, it's The Way of Shadows by Brent Wiggs. I'm going to read that because I'm literally three days behind now on that book. And, um... I need to catch up like I need to catch up I want to catch up because I have other books over there I need to read um, like specifically for like reviews and stuff that I have to get done so that's that so let me um, cancel stop 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 save as just page two yeah I'm just gonna download it from my phone it should be on my phone And I'm having issues with my phone because my charger is a uh, white plug. If you guys have Samsung phones, um, I'm, I'm an Android person. I don't do iPhones, like, at all. Um, my brother and my siblings have been trying to convert me to iPhone. I just, I can't get with iPhones um, for some reason. I just, I don't like Apple as a company. I don't know what it is. I just, I don't do it. I'm just an Android Windows person. Um, but my charger, I guess, is, like, really is is beat up basically really beat up bad and it has been short circuiting where it hasn't really been charging my phone i charged it last night overnight i woke up this one and my phone was only on 22 percent which is ridiculous um and that was at five when i woke up i went back to sleep at five um because i instead of staying up i tend to go back to sleep because it's really cold so i got back up at like 7 30 something my phone was only on 40 percent normally by the time i wake up in the morning um by 2 a.m my phone is already on 100 percent so I'm going to have to get a new charger, but right now I have this wire that I'm using, but <sighs> let's get this done because I want to be done with this, done with this, done with this. Yes. Yes. This is it. So yeah, I'm just going to email this to myself, send this email out because it's literally 940. So that's what's going to be done. And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to read a few chapters before I'm going to read like five chapters. Oh no, I'm not going to read five chapters. I'm going to read five chapters. Yes, I'm going to read five chapters and come back to you guys when I get to like chapter 38. And then read the last three chapters on camera so you guys can see my final reactions. But I'm hopeful that the boys get released from jail. I do not need them to die. 
Steven and Samuel cannot die, Linda, okay? They cannot die. Antonius and her, um, her being Jerusha, they need to get married. Um, Caiaphas needs to get kicked, booted, because what he did to his son, Effa. Oh, and Miriam had her baby. It was so cute. So cute. So Moses and Miriam have their baby. And I'm just ready to see all those cute little couples get together. Like, all the couples. All the couples. Um, there is a... The witch's apprentice came to Jerusha to be saved. Um, so now she lives with Jerusha. Her name is Ada. 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 I think that's how you say that. But let's dive into reading the last few chapters. So... They were definitely almost crucified. Luckily... Okay, so basically, they were almost crucified, and the one that had to basically execute them was supposed to be um, Antonius, which gutted me, like, gutted me so much. Um, but luckily, they got, like, they literally were on the brink of getting on the crosses to be crucified. But then Grandpa came through. Grandpa showed up. And Grandpa is funny. Um, I gotta, I gotta read that part that happened, because that was funny, so... They were basically telling her, basically the guy that had almost un initially raped her in the jail cell, um, he came and he was like, remove your clothes and yada, yada, yada. So her grandfather was like, get your hands off my granddaughter. So she was like, grandfather, you came. He said, you do not want me to get off this horse, soldier. I will not fare, it, I'm sorry, it will not fare well for you. If you hurry up and pick up her, the, her, her head wrapping, I think that's what it is, and return it. Along with her torn cloak, I will not flog your despicable hide. So then he's like, well, who are you? He's like, well, I thought you were dead. He said, as you can see, I'm very much alive. And just like, yo, nobody knew he was alive this whole time. Like, everybody thought he was dead. Homeboy was still alive, and I love it. Um, and then it's just love and more love and just romance and romance at the end. Basically, after they get back home... Um, What's her name? Bridget basically admits that she lied. Her mother is actually dead. Um, she didn't survive. Um, and then Antonius. For t yo, for 10 years, this man has been wanting her. This man has been patient with her. He's been in love with her, in love with her children. He planned his whole proposal. He planned the whole wedding night. I mean, he had a dress and everything made for her. Like for 10 years and then Stephen and who was it because I always get this wrong so it was Stephen and um Hannah they got married Samuel and Rebecca they got married I'm just so happy Bridget is excited now that Jerusha's gonna be her mother Sarah's back just love it Sarah number two not Sarah number one because Sarah number one is in heaven um but Sarah number two came back and it's just like so so good it's just the romance is so good so I'm on the last chapter and then I have the epilogue. So I'm going to read. Oh, that's another thing. Um, so Stephen, I believe Stephen is leaving to go back to Antonius' homeland, if I'm not mistaken. No. Samuel. They both start with an S, so that's why I get confused. But Samuel is going back to Antonius' homeland with his daughter to preach the gospel. And then... Stephen? Yes, yeah, Stephen and his wife are gonna go back with their grandfather to preach the gospel. So I think it's amazing how, like, God told her that she was gonna have sons and all this stuff, and her daughters would come from all over, and um, even though she couldn't birth them physically, she raised them as her own children. They loved her as their mother, and I really just love the family dynamics. I love Chaya. If you don't know, Chaya was Timon's um, adoptive mother, and um, she's even so supportive in the romance between Antonius and Jerusha. And it's just so beautiful to see, like, such family dynamics. Because I'm, I'm so used to seeing people be like, no, you can't marry her because my son was married to her, blah, 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 blah. But back then, it was literally so easy. Like, people didn't date back then, you know? They fell in love at first sight. They were betrothed for however long, and then they got married, and they worked through that marriage, through their difficulties. They worked through that in learning to know more about each other. And I'm just like, what if we were like that now? Like, what if we still lived like that back in the day? Because nowadays, people are just dating, 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 having babies, having sex, dating, dating, dating. And I'm just like, I wish I would have had the mindset like they did back then to not 
date all these people but to find somebody that i can feel a connection with that god has connected me to and be with that one person it's like people don't want to get married anymore because they don't know the real person they're marrying which is true but they didn't even know back then who they were marrying they had to figure that out during the process or they learned that during the betrothal and it's just like come on like I don't know. They had it great, but chapter 39 it's going down. So y'all can watch me read. I'm going to set the camera up. I'm going to get relaxed and I'm going to read the last few pages of this book and then this vlog will be over. So let's get to reading. I finished. It is 1049. I finished it within an hour. Five stars off the bat. I'm literally going to have to take a day before I write my review. Just seeing my thoughts together. But I... That ending was beautiful. Um, both her sons came back. Both their wives are pregnant. Sarah and Joshua are getting married. Which is like, yes! Um... It's just, it's beautiful. Oh my gosh. I did, okay, so the reason why, I don't know if you saw me, I was like, yes, is because one, um, Caiaphas is dead, thank God. Um, he's dead. Um, Jerusha is now 47 years old. Uh, Joshua and Sarah are getting married. And Caiaphas is dead. I'm excited about that. And then her grandfather came back and told her it was now time to go. I wish there was like another book just because I want to know what happens next like after she leaves Jerusalem and she goes to where her father is like what what is her life going to be like like oh my gosh and and and, and Antonius does still fight um in battles and stuff like that as well it's just this was beautifully written this was very much heavy on the romance compared to the first two books um you can definitely see the line of progression with each book and how they focus on different things. The first book was just about loving yourself and um, trusting God. The second book was about letting go of control. And this third book was just really about seeking God in everything, even in the bad, even in the darkness, knowing that he's there for you. I truly, truly love this series. This trilogy is just by far phenomenal. Linda has crafted such no words this one definitely was heavy on the psalms there were a lot of the psalms mentioned in here that they were singing which i definitely enjoyed um everything about this book was perfection like literally perfection um i love this book so much it was really good i'm so glad that i was able to read these books i again want to thank buoyancy pr for sending me all three books like these were life-changing um, the first book definitely has a soft spot in my heart, but the trilogy as a whole, fantastic and phenomenal. I highly, highly recommend that you guys check out this series. Um, I'm saying series, but it's a trilogy. It's three books. It's well done. I will have individual book reviews as well as a trilogy overview of these books coming really soon for you guys. But that is it for this reading blog. I am done. So I'm going to spend the rest of my day just reading my fantasy novel. And um, getting some work done before tomorrow. But yeah, that's it. I truly enjoy this. I'm going to take a day to really think about my thoughts before I write my review. But um, yeah, if you want to see my written review, I'll leave 
links to both my Goodreads accounts down below. My personal Goodreads and my daughter of Increase Goodreads, as well as, obviously, my blog post down below. So all three links will be down below if you're interested, as well as links to get you yourself a copy of this book. I definitely recommend this. I definitely could see me picking this as a book club read for daughter of Increase sometime soon. Really could. But, um... Yeah, that's it for this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!